Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a story time video. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it or what. It might be uploaded sometime soon. It might be uploaded a couple months from now, a year from now, who knows. But I'm just going to get right into this. Alright, so this happened last Saturday. Well, this past Saturday. I was babysitting all afternoon from 2 to 6. And I came home around 6.45 and I eat dinner and whatever. And then pretty much right as I was done with dinner, my phone rings. And it was a text from a number I didn't know. And a lot of times when numbers I don't know text me, the number is usually just someone, like literally the wrong number or it's, um... Like, scams saying, like, oh, there's Louis Vuitton purses on this website for 50% off and all this stuff. So I just assumed it was one of those. So I unlock, I opened up the text and it said, hey, are you with your boyfriend? And I said, no, he's at work. And when I read that, I just assumed it was his mom. Because his mom had recently just got a new phone. And I just thought she got a new phone number. This was at 7 o'clock. They texted me, like, right at 7. I answered at, like, pretty much right as they texted me. And then literally right as I replied to that text, they said, I only have one text to tell you this. Your boyfriend has been cheating on you for a while now. And they were like, I want you to know, like, this can't go on any longer. So, immediately, I texted them back saying, who is this? Because, out of the blue, that's very, very strange to me. Like, it was just very, very random. So, I sent a screenshot of the text to my boyfriend, and I said, what is this? Like, what's going on? I called my boyfriend, and he didn't answer because he's at work, obviously. So, I called the number that had texted me, and when I called it, it said... It was one ring, and then goes, this number has been disconnected, error code, and a bunch of numbers. So, literally, with from 7.02 to 7.06 p.m., that phone was disconnected in four minutes. So, I also called them from my mom's phone, just to make sure that they weren't blocking me. Because I knew that that would be, like, their first, like, move to block my number. So I used my mom's phone number, but I put it, like, as a restricted phone call calling. But it still gave, like, this is a disabled phone number or whatever, the error code. So I was freaking out. And my boyfriend texts me back and he's like, what is going on? Like, what's going on? And I was like, I don't know. Can you tell me what's going on? Like, this is about you right now. It's not about me. So he's like, I don't know what's going on, like, I wouldn't do this, whatever. And I'm like, no, like, you're coming over after work and we're figuring this out. So that's going on. So I grab my laptop and I start Googling the number. And as I'm Googling the number, it's, like, landline. Like, that's the first thing that caught my eye was landline. You can't text someone from a landline. And I texted them back. Two, the phone number is located somewhere that's 45 minutes away from me. Whatever. So I put a picture of the text on Facebook and Twitter just to see, like, if it got anyone's attention. So then I text my boyfriend's friend, and I was like, do you have a clue what's going on? Like, do you know who this is? Like, anything. And he was like, what are you talking about? Like, no, I don't know who this is. Like what and he was like he was kind of just like can you just let me know if you do find anything out and i was like of course so i'm freaking out like trying to find out who this number is like i'm going on a bunch of different websites and so i was just freaking out like me and my boyfriend going back and forth like arguing like who could this be what is this I'm trying to, like, text the person because every single text is going through, which made no sense. Like, it was just very strange to me. And so I got to the point where I made a, um, 
account on a texting app so I can get a new like or just a random number and I texted them from there and just no answer from my actual phone number and from this texting app number so then my boyfriend comes over and I just couldn't get words out when he came over I couldn't talk like I just wanted to sit and cry because I didn't know who to believe what to believe like I know he wouldn't do this but it's then again, it's just like you're getting a text from someone that's saying, like, look, he's cheating on you. And he was like, I don't have the time to do this. I work so much. Like, where would I find the time? Like, I have, you know, like, he's work. he literally works Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then, like, all day. And then Wednesdays and Fridays, he's always with me. So, I mean, obviously, like, he wouldn't have time. Like, he works all day when he does work. And... Both of us really don't have, like, a large friend group. I mean, I don't talk to anyone really ever, so I don't really have that many friends. Like, I don't have friends. And then most of the people that text him, it's work-related texts, and everyone, like, at his job knows who I am. Like, so it was just really weird, and we just, like, we kind of just, like, started fighting over about it because I think today I decided, this is now Monday, I decided that I'm just going to be like Neve and Max and I'm going to pay for Spokio. And it was only like 95 cents. Like I didn't really, it was no big deal. So I'm on there because I know that's one of the websites that they use to find people. And I'm on there and there's no name, no like gender, no exact address, like nothing. Which I thought was very strange because... I was like, okay, what if I looked, like, my home phone number up? And when I looked up my home phone number up, like, it came up with, like, my house address and all that stuff. So, I saw it was weird. But then the location of where this phone number could be coming from was, like, a park in some town that's, like, 45 minutes away from me. It literally looked like a park. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. Then I went on another website, and I, I like, put in more information so I can get like more information out of like the number and they couldn't give me anything either but I did find out that they are a level three carrier which means that the number is basically coming from like a google phone like google talk or something or like Vonage like very very strange but it's just strange that both websites are coming up as a landline. So, that's, like, kind of where it's at right now. Um, I kind of hope to find out who did this and why they're saying it. Because it makes no sense that there's, like, just no proof. You know, like, if someone, if I was telling someone that their, like, boyfriend or girlfriend was cheating on them, I would say, like, they've done it, like, multiple times. And, like, with this person, like, I don't know, I would just give, like, proof. Like, there's no proof. They just were, like, I can only say this in one text. And it's just all very strange. Like, it's just coming out of, like, nowhere. And I also think it's strange that it's just coming from, like, this random phone number. And I don't, I can't find who it is. And, like, no one wants to be, like, oh, it was me. Like, Sorry. Or something, you know, like, I can't find anything on this number, and it's just getting, like, kind of annoying. So, if you have ever been in a situation like this, and you would like to share your story or share your experience, like, please leave them in the comments below, and, like, tell me what you did. Like, did a random number ever, like, call you, and, like, feel like I'm on a TV show right now, where they're just like, this is the one call you're getting, like, you have to come find me now, which I feel like I'm playing, like, a game with them like trying to figure out who they are and stuff so if this has ever happened to you please leave your story down below and if you liked this video which this isn't really a video to like but just give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye